All right. Good morning, everybody. It's Mr. Nelson, Friday, May 8th, and I've got some important updates today. Um, you are continuing to study the EM spectrum, chapter 26, the first three sections of chapter 26, same as Wednesday, except I have a little tutorial here, this assignment you're going to complete today. You guys are great on Wednesday. I really enjoyed reading your uh, discussions, comparing and contrasting sound waves with light waves, and we uh, continue to explore light waves today. I added a conference. Um, you can join by selecting conference in the left margin of our Schoology page. It's titled the EM Spectrum Light. It's a Q&A session. Just jump on, ask any question, type it up. And if you log on anytime between 1 and 1.15, I'll, I can extend it, stay an extra half hour if we need to. I can help answer questions. You can always email me a question if you uh, if you can't make the conference, or if you want to just hop in, say hello. Um, anything goes. So the material you studied, we just extend today. And when you open up the document, there are some notes, but it's kind of difficult to see them in the description of the document. It says, use this NASA website. Now, if you click on this NASA website first, um, it'll direct you to uh, the Imagine the Universe uh, page with the EM Spectrum. It's fantastic. Um, read through this. This will help you answer many of the questions related to different families of light or electromagnetic radiation along that electromagnetic spectrum. It will allow you to look at um, not just each family, but visible light, like the colors of the rainbow. And you can go through uh, the basic background. You can select advanced. This is a great video. I highly encourage all of you to watch this video. It's outstanding. Um, and it gives you further detailed information. OK. I have also included in today's document not just a, a, a link to this website to help you, but also a little interactive applet to explore the EM spectrum. Now, if you click on this applet, I shared some of this information on Wednesday. You get this little slider bar and you can kind of drag it along through. And as you drag it through the spectrum for different wavelengths, different frequencies, different energies of light, you can get the wavelength frequency. You can also get the energy. Um, but all of these light waves travel at the same speed, the speed of light, which is about three times 10 to the eighth meters per second or 300 million meters per second. Now, if this applet doesn't work, up at the top of your URL bar, there's a little lock button. And if, as long as you're using Google Chrome as your web browser, if you open that up, you have to um, find the site settings. And you will have to find Flash Media Player and select Allow. Uh, Flash Media Player is blocked by our district, but you may have to allow it. And then when you go back, uh, to the EM Spectrum applet, you know, you can refresh the page and it should work. Anytime we use a, an applet with Flash Media, you do have to, uh, again, open up that lock setting, get Flash to say allow in the site settings. Um, these two links correspond to the same information that you are reading in your uh, chapter 26 of your e-text, which you studied uh, Wednesday. So there's a link to some highlights uh, summary here, but you just have the one activity. It takes a little while. There's some descriptive questions or some calculation questions. Um, much of it will be very familiar from Wednesday, I hope. And good luck. I can answer also questions related to your uh, about the rest of the year. I'm sure you may have some questions about that. I'll get into that next week or just pop into the conference later today um, and fire away. Okay, all the best, guys. Wishing you well. Good luck today. Sending my best. Uh, and as always, stay strong.